you know, I think you would have a lot of things to say, but I think I think the most important thing is that I would want to tell myself, and um, and I think I did a good job of this, is, is just sticking to, you know, what you believe and believe in yourself. I mean, along the way, you're going to encounter hundreds of people saying, no, you're too small, no, you're not fast enough, no, you know, you can't make it at the, you know, Division One level, no, you can't make it in the pros, and, you know, and all this stuff, and I think... Um, I would want to tell myself is, you know, it's so easy for all those people, you know, in your head, you hear these no's, no's and negativity that, that can, you know, drown out your own personal belief and everything. And I think it's, it's important to take those negative comments, kind of almost put them in a little bag in the back of your head and use that as motivation to get your butt on the field, to get your butt in the gym or wherever to work at, you know, work at your craft, work at getting better. And it, it, I use that as motivation as, you know, um, basically to shove it in their face, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, is I would have, you know, I was I was cut from an ODP team, a state team, when I was younger, and basically he just told me, listen, man, I don't think you're good enough. And so I used that as motivation every time I stepped on that field to say, listen, buddy, I am good enough. And um, it's not like, you know, nothing, there's no evilness to it or whatever, but I, I still look at it and I still, you know, think about that when I'm standing there for the national anthem you know, when we're playing the LA Galaxy in a, in a playoff game is that some guy thought I wasn't even good enough to make a state team when I was, you know, 15 years old. Um, so I, I take all that, you know, I would want to tell myself to take that negativity, process it, and use that and harbor that to make yourself better, you know, because I think that's one of the biggest motivations I can offer is there's no better feeling is that someone says you can't do something and then you go out and you do it and you just say, look at me now, you know, and you don't have to say anything. You don't got to, you know, you don't have to be rude about it is you just let your, uh, your actions speak, uh, louder than words. And I actually had one of the, a good feeling I had, you know, kind of along those lines, we're getting off, off topic is, uh, I saw John Spencer this year, um, with the Rapids and he actually came up to me and he said, when we were going, um, to MLS with Portland, he goes, I released you. Um, this is, what was this like seven years ago? Uh, when, you know, he released me. And he said, I made a mistake. He goes, I should have taken you with us to Port, you know, with the, to the MLS, um, with Portland. Um, he's like, you can, you went into, went with New York, you were exceptional. Um, and he had nothing but praise, but he admitted that, uh, you know, he made a mistake, which obviously made me feel good. Um, but that's, that's part of that motivation of saying, someone saying, listen, you're not good enough. And you, you channel that into, well, yeah, I will be good enough and I'm going to show you. Um, so yeah, I think that would be my, uh, my mo uh, message to my to younger Stephen Keel is uh, just harbor that that negative uh, or whatever, and um, you know turn it into a positive.